Okay, YouTube. Uh, this is another another new unboxing. Uh, this is a new little drone I've got. Uh, it's the Vizio XS809. This is the HW model. It comes in uh, a few different formats, but uh, this is the one with um, altitude hold. Well, so it's sort of got an altitude hold on it. It's not a GPS quad or nothing, uh, but it's got a few nice little features. It's a folding drone. Um, a lot of people say it's a bit of a clone of a, another drone, but it's it's styled uh, a little bit like a, a more expensive drone. But it's definitely not got those features. But it's got some for a cheap drone. It's got some really uh, advanced features. Uh, it's got FPV on it for a start. You can link it up to your phone. It comes with an app uh, which can download. Uh, it's also got uh, it's got some voice control features on it. It does flips and all sorts of things. Um, and it's supposed to be quite a good drone. So it's just a little first look at it, first impressions, um, and see what you think. So let's see what's inside the box. Okay, uh, it's quite well packaged. Uh, it's quite well protected. So inside there, uh, you've got your actual drone. Uh, it's really, really light. Um, <clears throat> first impressions, it looks really nice. It's got that nice styling. It's got a little tilting camera on the front, 720p camera. <clears throat> it's got these folding arms. Uh, props feel really nice. Uh, it's got two LEDs on the front. Uh, it's got LEDs on the feet. It's unbelievably light. It's quite. It's not a small quadcopter. It's got your on-off button there at the bottom. It's also got a little SD card slot there just in front of the button. Uh, that's where your battery sits. Just pull that out. It looks really nice. So and that's the controller. That's pretty good as well. Yeah, that feels good. It's definitely good quality stuff. And that's your phone holder there. In the middle. Um, so what have we got? We've got one key takeoff, launch and land. Uh, we've got stop to cut the motors out. There's a trim button there below the throttle stick. Um, you've got a little LED above your power button. You've got two blank buttons. Uh, you've got headless mode on this. You've got your flip button there on the right. And that's your pitch forward, pitch back. What else have we got there? Flips and speed. So it's got three. <clears throat> on this one, three speed settings, and it just flips in any direction. That's quite good. And you've got your battery cover on the back there, all screwed down. But it feels really nice. <clears throat> so, you can control it with your phone via Wi-Fi, or you can control it via this. So, uh, it'll be interesting to see what sort of range you've got. And obviously there's, there'll be options for upgrading the aerial on this, I would imagine. So, yeah, it's self centering stick. Feel good quality. Buttons feel nice. Yeah, feels good. Really happy with that. I mean, for the price, you just you can't go wrong with this. Anyone's thinking of getting this, I can thoroughly recommend it. Um, I'll be doing another video, testing it out, taking it up in the air, see what it, how it flies, but uh, I would imagine it's quite good. Let's have a look what else there is. Um, so in the bag, in the box, underneath you've got your bag of spare parts, you've got some prop guards, you've got spare propellers. Um, you've got a screwdriver in there. 
you've got charging cable yeah looks okay uh, you've got all your instructions in there user manual that's neat looks quite detailed which is what you want plenty of information on there yeah I'm liking this that's really good that drone's really good right let's have a look at it fold it out well they fold out nice the front ones fold out first um, and then you fold the rear ones out and they click into place really nice really positive and it's nice sliding action it's not flims doesn't feel flimsy or uh, fragile or anything it feels really strong uh, I like the idea that maybe in a crash these arms will probably fold back so nothing's going to snap or anything um, and the good thing about these you can get plenty of spare parts for these and they're cheap enough as well I just think it's going to be a really good drone to sort of practice on <coughs> um, just really good for a beginner as well I think you get a lot of a lot of quad for your money there I think uh, and that app looks really good the Wi-Fi app uh, the FPV looks good uh, I've tested it out briefly there's not much lag or anything like that um, so I'm looking forward to testing the video testing out its flying characteristics just a little uh, little video of it just running there just so you can see the light screen on the front uh, you've got the red lights on the on the on the nose, they look really cool. Uh, red lights on the back. Props sound good, they sound maybe need a little bit of oil or a bit of grease on them maybe. Probably fresh out of the factory, they'll probably be a little bit dry but that's okay. I'm just gonna run these motors in a little bit, which is always good wise thing to do when you first get one of these uh, if there's any charge left in the battery just run it down completely and just uh, burn the motors in uh, it just gets them ready for when you take it up in the air just so they're running a little bit it just helps well hope you enjoyed the video that's looking really nice can't wait to see this up in the air look out for the next video anyway guys okay see you soon bye